Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're kind of discussing the Orwellian nature of international travel and my hope that it ends sooner rather than later. Uh, the reason I thought of making this video, I was reading a recent article in the Patia Mail, patiamail.com. Article is titled, Prior Holiday Visas to Visit Thailand are Becoming Redundant. And a lot going on in this article. I'm just going to quote an excerpt. I urge those who are watching this video, check that out for yourselves. Quoting directly, security expert Colin Ross said Thai authorities had finally realized that form filling was a poor way of monitoring foreigners. Quote, computerization of records and tracking people's GPS location via mobile phones makes a lot more sense, unquote, he said. He added that once virtual passports replaced the documentary version, travelers' identity and biometrics would be stored in a cloud. No need to carry the passport or fear it being stolen, but that's a few years away yet. Yeah, God, I hope so. A few years away yet. You know, at some point, I think everybody needs to kind of sit down and say, hey, do we really want this? You know, just to quote that again, you know, computerization, quote, computerization of records. Okay, computerization of records, that's one thing, okay? And tracking people's GPS location via mobile phones. Yeah, no, why? Don't need, don't, I don't know why we really want that. Quoting further, makes a lot more sense. Well, to who? End quote for that, he said. Then quoting further, he added that once virtual passports replaced the documentary version, travelers' identity and biometrics would be stored in a cloud. Well, what if we don't want to be stored in a cloud? What if I don't want my biometrics just out there in some perpetual ether for anybody to, to come to and see? I... I just, you know, and part of me also would like to just kind of for a moment break the mindset of inevitability that seems to come with this. I, I, I want to be clear. We really need to have these discussions and maybe think about not doing this for a variety of different reasons. Me personally, things like biometrics when you're checking in through an immigration checkpoint, especially in a country that you're not a national of, Okay, uh, I, can, I can understand that. That country says, hey, you know, we've got a security issue. You know, we don't want to just let anybody into our country. You've got to have your fingerprints done. All right, you know, you put, it, you put your hand on the meter and, you know, it reads it and boom, you got, you got your biometrics. They're in the system. Uh, that, there's, I, I think there's some call for that, but this, this notion of it being stored in the cloud and, a, and a virtual passports and things, you know, I, at a certain point, you have to ask why. What, what are we doing this for? Who are we protecting ourselves from? Ourselves or what? I mean, I, I, there's something to be said still for freedom, I think, in, in both an international context, certainly in an American and a Thai context. Do we really want to have like this digital, I don't know what you want to call it, di digital cloud follow us around, sort of like the rain cloud and Winnie the Pooh with... Christopher Robin, where it's just sort of always over you. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying I know the answer to that question, but what I do know is none of this sounds like something I particularly am going to enjoy living in. 